I'm Maureen Whitehouse, a spiritual teacher and a miracle mentor. This clip you're about to watch is from a much longer talk I gave to my subscribers in the Miracle Meeting Place. It's an online program and community I made for people who want to experience more miracles in their lives. If that sounds like you, check out the link in the description below. And if you resonate with anything I say in this video, please click that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I release new clips and videos every week and I don't want you to miss a beat. Thanks. Here's a great question. What is it about revenge that seems so compelling? You know, for a majority of people, that's a sad fact that revenge feels like something that's that they just can't keep themselves from needing to feel. And that's a definite symbol that you're disconnected from the reality of things that when you open your eyes to life, everything outside of you is your creation is something that you are meant to show up to and bring your creative capacity to life, bring love to life, bring all the delightful qualities that you want to experience in life to life. And so that idea of showing up to something needing revenge is the definite indication that you think that it's separate from you, that this is not your creation, that your world is happening from the outside in. It can come after you, it can attack you, it can assault you. And when that happens, you feel compelled to have revenge. You know, A Course in Miracles says only love is real and love is a connecting energy. The voice of the ego or the, the idea that we can be separate from something is the voice of separation. So if you want revenge, you are definitely in that mode of separation. When we find ourselves in that mode, it's still funny because we can think that we're getting revenge to someone else, but look whose emotions are getting affected. Look whose physical experience is being affected. We feel like we can get revenge on someone else, but we're the ones who have and bear the major impact of all that negativity and all of that disconnect. Our egos have a heyday with that, but our true divine loving self knows that when someone does something that doesn't feel as though it's right, or it feels as though it's wrong in quotes, that there's only one answer to that. And that's to answer a call for love, to connect with that lovingly. I know that's really hard for a lot of people to hear that, especially when you get to that degree of separation that you want revenge but feel that everyone's always doing the best they can. Sometimes that's awful and miserable, but the degree of separation that someone feels is the degree of assault that you feel. So when you connect and can go into a space where you're knowing that you wanna do the best you can do to see things differently, to be the light in the darkness, then you'll start to see that that's a much more fulfilling way to live. That's a much more peaceful way to live that helps you on every level, vitally, mentally, emotionally, physically, to be feeling connected and to feel healthy and well yourself. Revenge is never something that's gonna make anyone feel more connected to who they truly are. And in this scenario of the miraculous, you are divine. And so are they, they just forgot. How are you going to remind them by giving revenge and getting revenge? You can't remind anybody who they are from a place of disconnect yourself. Just remember who you are, step back, relax, take a big deep breath, close your eyes. And remember that when you open your eyes, everything in your outer world is your creation, that you make it what you believe it to be. And you make it what you believe yourself to be. So if you feel attacked, then you want to attack. But if you feel like you've just been given a big call for love, then maybe, just maybe, you can summon up all that love within you, the essence of who you truly are, and go out into the world and give that to them. It's, it's a big one. It's a big leap going from revenge all the way to love. So do the best you can to incrementally 
find yourself feeling more connected, more connected to yourself, more connected to the good things you have in your life. Step into appreciation, self-love, self-appreciation. And then you'll notice that anything anyone else does is from a place of disconnect if it feels like it's an assault to you or something that you would need to have revenge for. Okay, good luck with that. Good luck with that. It's important to become present and available to yourself first, love yourself first, and then relate to everything in your outer world, people, places, and things. <laughs>